Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the quadratic equation where the quadratic has a negative x squared term. So we've got a minus x squared in both our equations here. So let's have a look at example 1. So we're going to solve minus x squared minus 3x plus 10 equals 0. So the best way of doing this will be to change the minus x squared into a positive x squared term. So you can do this by multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 1. And this will change the sign of each term. So minus x squared times minus 1 would be plus x squared. Minus 3x times minus 1 would be plus 3x. And 10 times minus 1 would be minus 10. And 0 times minus 1 is 0. So once we've done this, we can now put it into double brackets. Um, if it doesn't go into double brackets, you can use your quadratic formula to solve it. Okay, so our first term is x squared. So we've put an x at the start of each bracket. So we need to now find the pair of numbers which multiply to give us minus 10 and add to give us plus 3. So let's write all the numbers down that multiply to give us minus 10. So we've got 1 times minus 10, minus 1 times plus 10, minus 2 times plus 5, and 2 times minus 5. So we just need to find the pair of numbers which add to give us plus 3. So that would be the third one down, minus 2 add 5, that's plus 3. So if we fill those in the brackets. So once you've done this, you can now split that into two separate equations. So our first equation will be x minus 2 equals 0, and our second one will be x plus 5 equals 0. And then just solve each one of these. So the opposite to minus 2 is plus 2. So 0 add 2 is 2. So our first solution is 2. And then the opposite to plus 5 is minus 5. So 0 take away 5 is minus 5. So our two solutions are x equals 2 or x equals minus 5. So let's move on to the second example. A little bit harder this one because it's in a little bit of a different order to the first one. So we've got to solve minus 8 plus 6x minus x squared equals 0. So first of all, let's just multiply by minus 1 to make the, the minus x squared term positive. So minus 8 times minus 1 is plus 8. 6x times minus 1 is minus 6x. Minus x squared times minus 1 is plus x squared. And 0 times minus 1 is 0. So let's just reorder this so we have it with the x squared term first. And then we want the x term in the middle and we want the number plus 8 at the end. Okay, so again let's try to put it into double brackets. So this time the numbers have got a multiply to give me plus 8 and add to give us a minus 6. So let's write all the pairs that multiply to give plus 8. So it either be two positives times together this time or two negatives. So we've got 1 times 8, minus 1 times minus 8. Uh, 2 also works, doesn't it? So we've got 2 times plus 4 and minus 2 times minus 4. Okay, so our number in the middle this time then is minus 6. So if we see which pair of numbers add to give me minus 6. And that is the bottom one there, minus 2 take away 4. So we can fill these numbers in the brackets. So we've got x minus 2, x minus 4. So again, we just split it into two separate equations. So if I solve the first one by adding 2 to both sides, so this will give me x equals 2. And if I solve the second one by adding 4, not add 4, is 4. And that's the second solution. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.